Today we're looking at the Russian T-72B3 tank. Despite its fearsome reputation, there are several controversial points surrounding this war machine. The T-72B3, an upgrade of the T-72B, is the backbone of Russia's tank force. Its design goes back to the late 60s, and it's been in service since 1973. This long history is both a testament to its effectiveness, and the source of many of its problems. The first issue is the tank's age. Although the B3 upgrade introduced in 2010 incorporated many modern technologies, it's still a 40-year-old design at its core. This is analogous to adding a modern computer system into a classic car, it might boost the performance, but the underlying structure is dated. A prime example, is the T-72B3's armor. While it's been improved with composite and reactive armor, the overall protection level, especially in the turret, can't compete with modern Western or even Chinese tanks like the M1A2 Abrams or the Type 99A. The layout of the tank is another issue. The T-72B3 has a cramped three-man crew compartment, which is a design inherited from the original T-72. This can affect the crew's operational efficiency and fatigue levels during prolonged operations. Another critical problem is the tank's engine and mobility. The T-72B3 uses the old V-84 engine, which only produces about 840 horsepower. This is considerably less than what modern tanks offer, reducing its acceleration and overall mobility. A serious issue with the T-72 series, including the B-3, is its vulnerability to modern anti-tank weapons. This was dramatically demonstrated during conflicts where older models of the T-72 were destroyed by advanced anti-tank guided missiles and top attack weapons. Lastly, the T-72B3's fire control system, although significantly improved, still lags behind the modern standards of Western tanks. The lack of a commander's independent thermal viewer is a significant disadvantage during night operations or in adverse weather conditions. But it's not all bad news for the T-72B3. Despite these problems, it remains a capable machine in certain scenarios. It's cost-effective, relatively simple to operate and maintain, and in large numbers, can still pose a formidable threat on the battlefield. That's it for today's video, guys. What do you think about the T-72B3? Is it a relic of the past, or does it still have a place in modern warfare? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.